Got a couple of old cordless phones from the mother-in-law that the batteries are shot. So uh, she asked if I could rebuild them. I said, sure, no problem. I've got lots of nickel metal hydrate AA type cells. I just need to put them together. And to do that, I'm going to use that new spot welder, that $700 spot welder that was left at my door at 1130 at night. Going to put it to use and actually do something practical with it and kind of get the feel of how much juice is needed to build a battery pack. Today I'm going to make a couple battery packs to fix a couple of old cordless phones. I have some recycled nickel metal hydrate batteries here that have been removed from a pack and the, the tabs have been mostly removed. We'll just complete the removal job if the tabs weren't completely ripped off so we have a new place on the battery to weld a couple new nickel tabs. So there's one that's clean. You can see the donor pack there was a okay. six cell 7.2 volt pack from its original application. Make sure that our our cells are ready for accepting the new connection points. That one's probably okay. I'll leave that one intact for soldering the wires on. So we need to put the batteries in series, the cells in series. So I'm just going to use some electrical tape and we'll just tape the two cells together so that I can spot weld on some contacts. So obviously the cells are going in series like this. I do have tape around here so that the, the cells actually can't short out as well. But I'll tape them with the insulation intact where the cells make contact. like that. And basically all I need to do is I need to tack an electrode on each end that I can then tack onto the wires going to the to the actual uh, telephone plug and then the other sides have to be strapped together. So we'll do the uh, electrodes first before putting them together. So in this case I'm just going to use a little strip of nickel and I'm only going to use a small amount because I just need a, a point to solder onto. I just used a roll of tape and some bubble wrap to support the cells so they don't fall over when I go to apply the electrodes for welding. Put the two probes down on here and tap. And that tab should be permanently on here. I probably am a little hot but it might be wise to use a little less power but that'll work. Okay that's one tab. That's for my negative terminal, and we'll do another one here for the, the positive terminal over here. Maybe even turn this down to uh, 15. I'll try this one and see if this is hot enough for that, because uh, 20 was, was a little overkill, I think. Does the positive terminal. I'm still hot. It's still hot at, at, at 15. We'll turn this down to, we'll turn it down to 10. And on this side I just have to do the terminal that connects both of them together. So we're gonna have going across just like that on both sides. So we'll start out on the positive terminal. That's a little better, that one, actually. And we'll do the same over here on this side for the negative terminal. So this is at 10 milliseconds. And I can clip off the excess. And that's battery pack number one. We'll check it with the meter. 
These cells are not fully charged, but they are, uh, they have a bit of a charge in them. I have a bad connection somewhere because I have no volts on one. Oh, don't! Might help if the probe is plugged into the meter. There we go. As I say, the cells are not fully charged, but I have 2.4 volts. Yeah, one of my probes came out. So that's one pack done. We have the next cell to do here. This one's already got one on the positive terminal, so I can leave that there. And we'll just take the other cell. Actually, it's got one on the negative terminal too, but. Uh, We'll just rip this one off and we'll put a new one on the negative terminal here and a new one, a new strap. So set the cells in. Get my negative strap. Weld it. My negative strap to solder my wire on. And then do the same for the other side over here. We're going to tape these together. about the right length. There, my battery pack is now made. Now I can install them in the cordless phones that they're going in. 2.4 volts. So I can shut off the, the welding machine. I don't need that running anymore. And I now can proceed to replace the dead cells which they bought they bought these from batteries included for ten dollars and we're gonna recycle these were nickel cadmium recycling some nickel metal hydrate batteries I'm sure these guys just make these up in the shop the batteries included and and sell them And they basically did just exactly what I did. They put a couple of, uh, of tabs on the batteries so they could solder wires down and, uh, and then sell them as, as complete battery packs. So here's our positive terminal. And since I don't have a shrink wrapping or heat shrink tubing that size, I'm just going to tape it up with good old black tape just to prevent any short circuits. And um, then the backpack can go back in the cordless foam.
that's going to be a scammer calling. Oh yeah, 647-600. It should be interesting. Hello? 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 Well, fuck you two. Uh, that's my burner number that I use. And uh, let's just say that uh, somebody named Andrea has uh, a collection agency chasing after her. And I keep getting these phone calls. So whenever I get numbers from Toronto, I kind of do it like that. And then basically tell them to fuck off after I'm done. Because they don't get it that, 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 that Andrea does not have that phone number anymore and it's now assigned to, it's a burner number. It's my public number that I give out to people that I don't want to give out my real phone number to, which is plenty of those. I don't give out my real phone number to anybody. Good old Johnny thinks he's got it, but he doesn't. He thinks he's got my cell number, but he doesn't have my cell number. And... Uh, Nobody has my real cell number. The only people that have my real cell number are a couple friends and family, and that's it. Okay, that one's ready to go, and now we'll get this next battery pack for for this next one. Wouldn't it be funny if I was shooting this whole video and the, and the uh, camera was off? Wouldn't that be hilarious? What does this say on it? It's a, uh, oh, this is nickel metal hydrate that was replaced with. So this is probably NIMH2. Oh, well, it doesn't matter because I'm replacing them with the same battery, the same type of cells. It's just that the ones that I'm using came out of, um, our, what was it? It was a two gig alarm panel. The old two gig panels that, that we were using, that were used by Alarm Force. And when we took over Alarm Force, we uh, started uh, replacing them with uh, Qualsys alarm panels, just because, uh, well, the, the old two gig, nothing wrong with the old two gig panels, except for the uh, radio in them is on uh, 3G and, the 3G cellular network, of course, is uh, is shutting down, so they all had to be replaced. So I have, uh, I wouldn't say an endless supply of of uh, AA nickel metal hydrate cells that are in, in perfect condition, but I have I have a few. I have a few. I've been using them to rebuild packs for various things. And see, so these were a couple ones that were left over when I uh, when I finished. So that's why I put the tabs on them just to repurpose them so that we can get use out of them for. A cordless phone. I know these these nickel tabs probably were overkill, but um, that's what came with the spot welder. I haven't bought any. I can get, probably get some some narrower ones for the smaller cells or cut them cut them down the middle that might be an idea cut them down the middle for the smaller cells just so that uh, the supply that I have will last me a little longer There we go. Two phones fixed. The mother-in-law will be thrilled. Thanks for watching.